I'm Lulu Sainsbury. I'm presenting my new exhibition of the dead name uh, Gasworks. Uh, the exhibition seeks to reimagine transgender experience beyond the limiting language of medicalization, projecting it into a kind of interplanetary poetics uh, that I'm also calling transsensuality. So in the new film I'm presenting, Descending Notes, it basically tells the story of free transing alien beings, kind of alien beings that are undercover as humans uh, that are essentially breaking each other's bodies apart. The film is essentially a love story that bases itself around a specific sample within the song A Song For You by Donny Hathaway. The lyrics are, if my words don't come together, listen to the melody because my love is in their hiding. I love you in a place where there is no space or time. Uh, within these lines, there's also a series of descending notes um, which spiral down, ending in a, in a discordant chord. The film was performed and written in collaboration with the artists Arda and Patterson and Rafi Ali. I'm interested in transness as a verb rather than a noun, a kind of continual open process, um, which also speaks of the ways just the everyday ways in which we are always made up of each other. So in dialogue with the film is a large scale stained glass installation called, Do You Think the Dead Come Back and Watch the Living? A dripping, leaking stained glass in which honey is pouring out of the frame along with uh, cigarette butts, uh, dried flowers, detritus. I think there's a lot there's a lot of longing within the work which speaks to both like a past that never happened as well as a future that never will happen. There's a line, a kind of joke within uh, the book Detransition Baby by Tori Peters in which uh, she writes, um, trans women don't actually want to live in their true gender, all they want is a good light to stand in. So I think with the stained glass installation, I was basically trying to make a good light to stand in for transness. In the second gallery is also a sound piece titled The Law of Desire is Fascist, which was written with a close friend and collaborator, uh, Carrie Rosenfeld, and then is performed by uh, elder queer poet Joan Mariner. Uh, the work kind of tells the story of a saint's erotic journey that references particularly St. Augustine, but also personal experience of both me and Carrie in terms of different complex relations towards medication. Um, on the one hand, transgender medication. On the other, addiction, uh, grief. Um, the sound piece was written through doing writing rituals over the last seven months, which then also uh, became another work within the exhibition. I keep you in my gut, I keep you in my throat. Are you hungry? I can feel you beating in me, I can. Uh, which is a kind of free paneled cupcake cosmos. They're kind of undercover cupcakes or repulsive, very sweet beings that are pretending to be cupcakes but failing. Within the exhibition there's a series of um, text pieces which are scattered around the wall, some of them more hidden than others, that are fragments towards a poetry book, songbook, which I'm also working on. The works kind of appear to be emerging out of the walls, almost like religious stigmata, but on the other hand, they could also be something like mist or, or smoke, something that is almost disappearing or, or as if something is hidden. This also relates to specifically to a portrait, which was taken of me by Carrie Rosenfeld. It's a portrait which shows a 
spiraling line of HRT or hormone replacement therapy gel on my arm. Yeah, it shows both the importance of friendship within my practice, uh, but also writing as a kind of, uh, as a transformative molecular force. So the last work in the exhibition is a bedroom cabinet titled To the Pain in the Womb, O oh, Womb, 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 Fleshy Womb. The work is a really personal work, both because it, I was literally living with it in my bedroom, as well as it's speaking towards shared intimacies and wider friendships that I've had over the last two years whilst I've been making the exhibition.